This is Kenneth Wong, Senior Editor for DE247. I'm sure you have seen various AR or augmented reality applications using head-mounted displays and mobile devices. But have you ever heard of glass-free AR? This is what's being developed and pitched to me by Distance Technologies. It's a startup by the same tech talents who co-founded the enterprise AR VR firm Vario. The proof of concept prototype and development kit I saw in the demo is this. It's put together with some off-the-shelf motion detection devices and cameras. The centerpiece of the technology is this custom-made display, a special glass coated with materials to create hologram-like visuals. So strictly speaking, it's not free of glass. The hand tracking allows you to put your virtual hand into the virtual 3D space to interact with digital objects. Because there's a camera tracking your movement, you can tilt or shift your head to inspect the virtual terrains from different angles like you would in real life. This feels much more natural and different from having to use a keyboard and a mouse to shift views or rotate a model. But you still have to be stationary pretty much because the motion detection and hand tracking system is confined to the space right in front of the display. In that respect, a cordless head-mounted display gives you much more freedom of movement. Now here is Erho, the CEO of Distance Technologies. So this device is our first proof of concept device for light field, for head-up displays and other see-through systems that enables you to have glasses-free mixed reality experience. So on this one we have a combiner that lets you see through so that you see the reality and the synthetic reality simultaneously. Then you have a camera that recognizes your eye locations, does the eye tracking for you all the time. And then finally we have a synthetic light field generator which is at the moment a relatively little modified display. On a car you would be basically integrating on a dashboard of a car the same place as typical HUD systems are today integrated into. The key difference is that these systems are really thin so easy to integrate and it's thus possible to make a much bigger field of view for a system like this. And um, one of the benefits uh, that we're seeing now as an advance is on the automotive side is that the angles of the windshields are, are uh, increasing and uh, our system is capable of supporting wide variety of angles from 45 degrees to 20 degrees. Okay. I don't think every CAD system needs like a, a designer needs a system like this but it's a great way to show for example to the customer or to some of the peers who are not actually engaging on the engineering themselves like a in a very simple way what the finalized product, for example, would look like. And it's a great way to simultaneously like, visualize in three dimensions the things and see like, truly the separation of objects at, at the various distances. At the moment, the company is targeting highly specialized applications in automotive, aerospace, and defense sectors. In my view, this is not something that will replace the AR VR headsets for digital twin functions or the reliable workstation you use for your CAD design and simulation work. But I can see that the technology could be useful for car and aircraft manufacturers that might want to integrate AR directly into their windshield or front view, for example. Or a special booth or kiosk to display products that are difficult to transport due to their size, shape and complexity. We will be following the company and report on their early customers, so stay tuned. For more engineering and design news, go to Digital Engineering 247. That's digitalengineering247.com. Until next time, I'm Kenneth Wong. Bye-bye.